Hello, this is Shauna from the Foil Fox. Thank you so much for being here today. I have a project I'm calling Flowers in the Round because that's just what they are, these wonderful flowers. They come from the Penny Black stamp called Painter's Vase. It does have this great vase and it's a wonderful one, but we're just using the flowers today. And then we're using Hero Arts Infinity Circle Dies and I'm choosing the three and a half inch circle and, um, but look how many there are to choose from. That's one of the things that makes that set so wonderful. Then I have a four inch square of Bristol paper. I want to use that because I want it to accept a little bit of water. This is um, Snowbound five inch square, which has a linen finish and then some thin foam and a white card base that's four, five and a half inches when folded. I have one other paper that I'll we'll get to later on in um, this project. Then for the inks, I'm using Crest Olive and Salvage Patina with two of the um, blend, blending tools. And then I have an assortment of uh, little mini inks. I love using these when I wanna get into tight corners. I've listed them here, so you'll see the list of the ones that I'm going to be using. Then I have two pinks and two green Tombow pens. I find that the bright and the primary sets of Tombows really have almost everything you need um, whenever you do a project. Now I've got this three and a half inch circle die and you can see there's like a little cutting edge, but it also has an edge beyond that. So I'm just going to trace beyond that, that one on the very outside diameter, which is slight, slightly bigger then when we cut this out. So we don't have to worry about erasing lines or anything. It's just a guideline to see where we're at. I'm going to take this crushed olive and the salvage patina and my two blending tools and I'm going to use a very, very light touch here. I'm going to use just the crushed olive at the bottom and then the salvaged patina at the top. So most of it is in the top. Uh, I'm being very, very light here. I just want a suggestion of a background. Maybe add a little bit more where it meets the crushed olive, but I really didn't want um, it to, to have too big of an influence on our design, just enough to give it a little hint of a background. Now with that done, I've put it in our stamp positioner, along with positioning the um, flowered uh, stamp. And uh, I have it a little bit off, you know, turned a little bit. So it's a little kitty corner using saltwater taffy. I am inking up the flowers and then I'm gonna spritz it with some water. Now I got a little zealous with my water. And so I need to just dab this off a little bit with a facial tissue. I'm gonna add a little bit more of saltwater taffy again. And then I'm gonna add some um, wild honey just at the tops, just at the top of the flowers. You don't have to be super precise. Then I'm taking Festive Berry and I'm doing that more in the, the as you can see where I'm dabbing it, it's just more in the center of the flowers. I spritzed it a little bit and stamped it. So we got even more definition now. And you notice I use my finger to blend it. It's because what, you know, sometimes it gets a harsh mark from the, um, the stamp cube and I don't want that to translate onto my flowers. I'm adding a little bit more of the wild honey at the top only. Spread that with my finger. We're just gonna continue to build the color until we get to the desired color that we'd like. Now here I have the two pink Tombow pens. I'm gonna start out with the lighter one just in the centers and see if that gives me some a definition but I think the light pink is a little too light, so we're gonna go with a darker one. That's why I have the two of them there, um, because I always start light, because I don't wanna mess it up. Uh, so we start light, and you can always add color, harder to take it off. Then with those stems, you can see that it did stamp a little bit with the pink, but no bother, because you can go right over it with a Tombow pen, with your green Tombow pen, and now the stems are all green. So using this um, dark pink again, after the stems were done, I'm going back into those centers, just giving more definition, but I think it needs a little dab of this um, seedless preserve. So I am adding that in, just in the centers, 
I'm trying very hard to keep it there and then blending it with my finger. You can see there um, that really helps give it depth. You can see how we, as we continue on, we get more and more depth to these flowers. And there I spritz it again. I don't spritz it every time, but nearly every time. Now I really, you can see the depth in some of these open flowers. And I really like that. We're going to add a little bit of more pink to that bud. We're going to kind of define that bud a little bit more, make it a little bit darker. It often is. This is some candied apple. And I'll use a little bit of the candied apple um, to define more of these these petals, especially the ones in the front. Um, you can see, you know, it's easy that if you put to to overcome this pattern, these flowers, if you you add too much ink too quickly. So that's why I take my time and I just can go back over it like I'm going back over the green right now. And I can add a little bit at a time and decide what I want, what I think it needs. So right now I'm adding more of that of that pink and I'm defining some of those petals there on those flowers. And I think that it is making a big difference. And I just kind of just continue on again, as I mentioned, starting with a lighter colors and then building to your darker colors so you don't instantly overwhelm it with a dark color. Now that that's complete, we'll take that out and um, we will cut a circle. This is the same circle die as I had before. It's a three and a half inch and I have some foam as well. I'm going to cut a circle foam and the circle of the flowers. And you know, even though that it, that is the same size circle, somehow that foam always seems to stretch just the smallest bit. So I'm going to just trim a tiny, tiny, tiny border off the whole perimeter so that it fits on there and it's not going to show um, on the outside of our circle of our flowers. Now we're going to bring in our other pieces. And I have, see that darker piece? That is alpaca. It has a hint of lavender to it, even though it's technically a gray. And it's going to go right on top of our card base. So it's five and a half inches square. And I'm going to use some double stick tape for this. I often use double stick tape when the surface is really going to show. In other words, when I put this down, it's going to, you're going to see that whole surface. And I find that when I use, uh, if I use, when I hadn't used glue, that sometimes it gets a little war warpy and I didn't want to do this, do that to it. This is the Snowbound, which is that linen finish white. And all the supplies are in the link down below, so you don't have to worry about that. I've listed everything and I've just centered that. You can see it's a little bit smaller. It is five inches instead of five and a quarter five and a half, excuse me. Now I have put the foam on the back of the flowers with some double stick tape and now adding glue to the back of the foam. I find that the double stick tape does not like foam uh, very well. It does not like to go to apply onto there. Plus the one thing that the glue does is allow you to have a little bit more movement to it. And I know it's not going to be warpy because you're not going to see it because I have the foam in between the flowers and the back. Now I have my bow of twine. I put that heavy thing, uh, heavy object on there to hold it down. Now I did another one off camera and I used some lavenders with that and we'll cover that in just a minute. But let's look at the um, close up of this. And the colors are so vibrant and I think it's a beautiful flower arrangement. Penny Black always is so marvelous about their flowers. I could have added a sentiment, and of course that's something that would be easy to do, but I wanted to keep it pretty simple. On this one I used Shaded Lilac, Seedless Preserves, those pink uh, Tombow pans, and saltwater taffy, and then the green pans as well. 
I did put those in the supply list, by the way, so you'll check that out as well. And as always, please let me know which one that you like the best um, because it's always fun to see what everybody's tastes are. And so as a review, here is Penny Black's Painter's Vase, the Hero Arts Infinity Circle dies, and some assorted distress inks. Thank you so much for joining me today, If you, and um, we hope to see you next time. And don't forget, if you haven't subscribed, to hit that subscribe button. Thanks again, and we'll see you next time. Bye.